All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing some ranked 2v2s. We actually ran into a very high-level Smurf, somebody who's a top 50 2v2 player in the world. I'm not going to leak who it is, obviously, because it is a Smurf account, but it's very interesting to see the, the levels that happen within SSL. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in game number one. All right, getting into game number one. Let's see if we got Matt and Lil Player on the other team. Low player is uh, somebody who used to be up and coming, and then I think he just stopped playing the game, but he's probably still very good. We got zero on our team. I'm not sure if this is the Matt that I know, or if it's just a, a random person named Matt, but I also used to know a guy named Sniper Matt, who was also pretty decent at the game as well. This is so tough. Ugh, I just got bumped, and he wasn't able to challenge. So, yesterday I did a video analysis on what First Killer does that, you know, um, you know, I mean, I kind of did an analysis of the whole game, but I also primarily focused on a lot of things that First Killer does because I would personally consider him to be top two players in the entire world. So, obviously, I can learn from his 2v2 ability. And one of the things I primarily fixated on in that video was his boost management and how he cheated on the kickoffs. So... I'm really going to be trying to focus on that and, you know, maybe trying to learn from, from how he does things. I'll go for a double here, hit it to the left. Oh, that's a good save from Matt. Oh, I wanted to get that boost there. Should be okay, though. Gonna be in a 1v1 here. If he can bump, that'd be great. All right, I'll hit that around to him and just let him take it. I know he's going to be going for that boost anyway, so I might as well just hit it so that he can go. All right, he's on it. Should be a free touch for a zero. Nice. Maybe not a free touch, but I wanted him to go for the shot there, and he did, so that was good from him. I'll just wait. Maybe he can stay on this. All right, get one more, maybe? No, that's going to be tough. I'll just fit the him here, and then I have enough boost to follow it up. Get it over him. Low player's going to be on that. If I get a little bit more power on the shot there, it's just straight in, but... Unfortunately, I hit it with my purse. Alright. Just gonna hit it around one, and then I should be able to follow this up. Good flip, but it's, uh, he's, he's just all the way back in net, so it's not really gonna be too threatening. Uh, you know what? I can go for this. Shoot it on. No, careful, careful, zero, careful. I gotta use a bit of boost here to get back, because I wasn't sure if zero was gonna be able to get that 50. He ended up getting it, so there wasn't really that big of a threat. Um but it'll be all right. I'm actually gonna leave that back corner in case Zero needs to go back here because, uh, well, that was a good flip reset, but he's able to just get the 50. Let's see if I can get some pads here. Nice, good force from my teammate. I'll just hit it up. Just hit it around, maybe he can go. It's gonna be so awkward, I need him to go for it. I didn't actually need boost, but as long as he got the calm and, and went for the ball. Oh my god, we're good, we're good, we're good. Nice. Try to just fake that. I might get demoed here. Yeah. I was going to flick it, but he just demoed me before I could even do anything. Just going to hit that up high, see if I can get them to double commit. I can. Nice. Can save some boost here. Get back. Wait on the double. Okay, should be fine. All right, he's backing off. Try to just fit the him. I got nothing here. I'm just gonna try to force him. He missed. Nice, good pop from my teammate. I'm not gonna be able to follow that up though, and I don't think he will either, so I'm just gonna grab some boost and try to play for this. Might be able to pinch that. Oh, so close. Demo? Okay, I don't know how that's not a demo, but all right, I guess. All right, good 50, and then I'll leave. It was important to note that I challenged while moving backwards there. Um, I didn't actually want to fully commit to a challenge because if I get dunked there and I'm moving forwards, I don't have any boost, right? So it's going to take me a long time to recover if I challenge while moving forwards there. Meanwhile, if I just do exactly what I did, then, you know, even if I don't get a touch on the ball, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be moving back towards the net and I'm going to be recovering. I'll just try to hit that up to him. I should have hit it a little bit farther forward, but it's not going to be a big deal anyways. Um, I'll wait on this. Nice. I was waiting for the 50 and watching the demo. Uh, I saw that low player was like going. No. Ah, oh, man. He, he just got dunked there. He couldn't have that happen. 
Once I force the ball here, he's got to be able to to win. Got a minute left, though. Definitely come back here. Focus on getting the boost here, and then trying to fake that. Okay, they both backed off, so it should be all right. Hit around one. He can go, but... Matt's on zero boost here. It's going to be such a weak touch that I need my teammate to follow it up. Nice. And I'll turn in mid here. Uh, that's a good save from Matt. Pop it up high and fake that. Alright, go up into the air with it. He beat me. I'll just leave. He can go. Good pop, but I need him to demo Matt. Nice. Great pass from my teammate. He faked the demo on the guy in net, if you watch the replay. He faked going for the demo on the guy in net, and then just turned around and hit the ball, because it made it so awkward for the guy in net, because the guy in net thought he was shooting. Very nice play from my, from my teammate. Alright, he needs boost. Got him. Ooh. They did the same thing. Should be alright, though. That's going to be a little awkward. Oh, no. I set him up. Touch, touch, touch. Nice. Good save for my teammate. Wasn't sure he was going to be able to react to that or not. Uh, I got bumped here. He can go fast. Oh, good save. Good save. He was covering everything there. Uh, sometimes players that aren't used to playing 1v1s kind of choke in that situation, but um, he, he made a good play there. He had everything covered. It's just a matter of whether or not he knows how to play that exact situation, and turns out he did, so... Touch, touch, touch. Nice. Good rush there. I wasn't sure if he knew that the guy was going to be playing it or not. No, go, 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 go. Oh, no. Okay, we should be all right. Should be all right. Should be all right. I'm going to wait here. Try to just play 50. Nice. He thought that I was faking because I slowed down with the ball when I was really just trying to control it. All right. I'll get behind him here. Okay, nice. Oh, good shot from zero. Good ice. There we go. Alright, that's a good game number one. Also, I didn't I wasn't able to show this in the beginning of the recording, but my cat. I have a cat camera now, so I can change it and I can like enable that in the in the corner there. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was funny. But we'll get uh right into game number two and I'll see you all then. <coughs> Alright, and then in game number two. What do we got? We got Missionary Jack. Uh which I think is a Smurf name. I think I know who this player is, but I don't know if they want people to know who it is. Yeah, no, I know who this is. All right, yeah, he's, he's a really good player, like top 100 level um, in twos, like consistently, maybe like top 50. I just don't want to out him just in case he doesn't want, but this this will be a good game. Uh, I'm low here. He can't get back to that, though, so I'm just going to leave. I know his teammate wasn't following up because I saw his teammate going for the mid boost, and I knew that he couldn't follow up because... He was having zero boost from the kickoff, and he wasn't going to be able to, like, jump back up in time, even if he did have a lot of boost. All right, good control there. Oh, I meant to I meant to use my empty jump to get back down and recover on the play, but I accidentally flipped. Uh, I'll just force that high, and then he should be able to have a free ball. Nice. Good flick. Might be open. Nice. Nice shot. I might just be getting carried this game. I'm not really sure. I don't know if that was intentional or not either. Alright, he said I got it. So I was hoping we would Spanish. But I didn't even end up getting the demo. I'll just let him take that. If he gets the boost, we're in a good spot. Okay, he got demoed as well though. He's going to go straight for the ball. Ah, uh, he went under me. That's my bad. That's my bad. I, I was trying to cover the fast shot. But I should have realized that he was shooting low. Nice, good kickoff. I'll be on the right here. He can stay. I'll wait. And by the way, for, for those of you that are thinking about it, no, this isn't Appjack. Uh, as far as I know, Appjack doesn't have a smurf, but... Oh, this is so bad. No! Sorry, dude. I, I just can't read the ball right now. That was bad for me. Two big mistakes from me lead to two goals, so... Still fine, though, because he scored two off the rip, so he should be all right. I'll leave this. He can go now. Nice, good control. Oh wait, playing the double. Okay, gotta play this now. Nice. Ow. Hitting it over him. He's gonna be awkward. Shot. Nice, nice, nice. Well played, well played. Now, I knew that right here, like, yeah, I, I don't know how I got my flip there, but I, I just kind of knew. I think I had two wheels on his car and then two wheels on the ground, so it just gave me my flip. But it works out. 
And then as soon as you see the guy in net playing close, like for the shot, I was trying to pinch with him there. Uh, I could have shot that outright and it probably would have been a goal, but I was trying to pinch with him. Nice, good save. Got the boost, but I'm low. He's not gonna be able to score that. But yeah, as soon as you see the guy creeping up close playing for the shot, if you hit it over him, it's pretty much a guaranteed goal as long as your teammate's in the right spot. Uh, you basically just want to hit the ball where the opponent isn't. And that's something, I, uh, again, I talked about in my last like analysis video where I played against first killer. Um, but basically, like you want to have possession of the ball, so you want the ball to be either on your car or on your teammate's car. But if you can't do that, you at least want to make sure that the ball isn't going towards the opponents. You know, so if you're hitting the ball into open space or you're hitting the ball where your opponents aren't, that's just as that's like second best to uh, having actual possession of the ball. Um, so that's why things like hitting it on the backboard, you know, if the opponents aren't playing backboard, is so so good. All right, five two two and a half minutes left. It's looking like we're running away with this game, but we can definitely still throw it. Uh, if I make two big mistakes like I did earlier. All right, he's gonna be able to go. Try to bump this guy. Now, if he misses, it should be a free free counterattack for us. He's gonna cut that up. Nice. Got the flip. One's off the backboard. Hits it around him. Very nice. Very well played. I wanted to hit that um, and control it at the same time, but it was gonna be kind of tough with the way I took off there. All right, I can control this. Just gonna go for a 50. Okay, he beat me, but that's fine. Bump the last guy, so it's no big deal. And I'll take this back right. Jump over him in case he goes. All right, I should be able to get this as well. Oh, wow, this is bad. I'll just go up to the ceiling. Oh, he was on the backboard. I mean, he still jumped off the backboard, so my touch high still kind of worked, but I could have easily went for a flip reset there. I just thought he was going to be challenging me. I'll just hit that up high. Hit it around him. Again, just trying to keep the ball away from them. Now, granted, I did touch the ball um, towards his other teammate, but... Pretty much just trying to keep the ball away from, from the guy who was about to touch it. Alright, nice. GG. We'll get right into game number three. I'll see you all then. Ant Eater Eater 69. That's a name. I'm assuming they're queued up. Yeah. He's 1500, which either means that he's a smurf or this guy's just playing with one of his really, really low ranked friends. Okay, I don't want to say really, really low ranked because 1500 is still like Grand Champ 1 and that's a lot of people's like dream rank. So I'm sorry to anybody in the comments. Like. I didn't mean to call you guys really, really low ranked, okay? I'm sorry. It's just compared to here, it's, it's low ranked, you know? Anyways, uh, <laughs> now that everybody in my audience fully hates me, uh, let's get into the game. Try to get a demo there. Can't get it. Again, I'm just trying to uh, hold on to all of my boosts here. Oh, wow, that's around me. But Kuros, oh, no, he should have went. He should have went first time there. Um, I shouldn't have dove, probably. I thought I could read that, but I just kind of misread it. Uh, but he should have just dove that first time. If he beats him there, even if he gets a 50, it's going to be a lot easier to make a follow-up save than if, if he gave him the space like that. Go for a bump. Nice. Great pass, great pass. Good bump. Good decision from Kuro there to, to go for the bump. Especially after this guy got that weak touch. Um, not only did that guy get a weak touch, but he also backflipped, which basically killed his momentum. Which made it extremely easy for Kuro to get a bump on him. Because obviously if they have no momentum and they're not going to be able to change their momentum or anything like that, it's going to be really hard for them to avoid a bump. Good 50. I can go for this. I just need him to get behind me. Wow. Okay. Uh, ball went a bit off my car there, so I wasn't able to flick it. And I didn't have enough boost to actually catch up to it. I need him to go for one more. Nice. I'm under him, so I'll just play like a 50. Alright, he got the 50, but I wasn't able to follow it up because he actually pushed the 50 forward, which is fine. Alright, just 50 that. Gonna take this mid boost and then leave because it should be a free ball. Ah, he wasn't cheating close. Or, I mean, following close. I'll just hit it high. Uh, somehow I used my flip there when I was trying to jump. I think it's because my back two wheels were actually under the crossbar so i was technically in the air i think that's how that works so if you don't have all four wheels on the ground i think it automatically just uses your jump if you're not if you don't have all four wheels on the ground it uses your dodge 
Yeah, he's gonna beat me there, so I'll just wait. He should be able to get that. Nice. Uh, I was gonna turn in to see if he could get a demo, but no, dude, don't go. Stop. Nice. Good follow there. I have no boost here. I'm just gonna try to use his teammate to 50 him. <laughs> Didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but it's alright. He touched it high, so I'm gonna have a little bit of time to get some boost here. That's a crazy double reset. I'm gonna take this boost and then get that. Take this boost as well, because I'm the one staying on the... Oh, dude, I was about to jump, too. I literally just got the ball into a perfect spot to jump, but good 50 from Kuro there. I just got the ball in a perfect spot to bring it up into an air dribble uh, if I double jumped, but nice shot from Kuro. Good fake. All right, gonna just get back here. I'm actually gonna use boost because whenever you're going towards a full boost, it's actually okay to to use a bunch of boost, especially if you know that like nobody else is gonna get it. Like if you're in a race with somebody else for the full boost, obviously uh, if you think they're gonna beat you, you shouldn't use the last of your boost to try and get a full. Uh, whoa, what a double. But you know, in, in that situation, when I'm going back to my corner after the kickoff, I mean, I know nobody else is gonna be there, so. It is advantageous to use the last of my like 12 boosts to actually pick up the big boost because it'll, it'll make me faster off the turn like after I get the boost and it'll uh, put me in a better position faster. Nice shot from Kuro. Good, good tap up from us. Um, getting the ball over him here with the 50 and then not only that but just popping it up to make them a little bit awkward. If the ball kept on going to the corner there it would have been a lot more difficult to score because there's a lot less angles that we can use to shoot the ball from uh, from the corner compared to head on. Oh, I need him to go there. Nice, I got, uh, he can take it, that's fine. Nice, good 50. Just gonna take some full boost here. I'm gonna dive on this, which is kind of risky and a little bit stupid, but it's fun, you know? I gotta have a little bit of fun every once in a while, right? All right, he can go. Try to demo this guy, can't get it. Should be okay though. Yeah. Oh, you know what song just came into my head? Any, any of you guys watch Phineas and Ferb, where they're teaching the one, like, librarian dude that wants to be, like, a rock star, you know, uh, how to make a song? And they, they made that banger, No, I Ain't Got Rhythm song. Oh, my God. That, that thing slapped. Oh, they Spanished. I was distracted, man. I was thinking about Phineas and Ferb. That's ridiculous. I swear, it's always when I don't look out for the Spanish that they're actually Spanish, but 99% of the time, I'm actually watching for the Spanish. Just that time, I wasn't. I'll just shoot that on. Alright, he actually got it, but I, I, the way I challenge that, you'll notice that whenever I challenge the ball, I try to flip towards a wall if possible. Because the faster you land on another surface after making a challenge, the faster you'll be able to recover. Because it's a lot easier to switch your momentum while your wheels are on the ground than it is with your wheels in the air. Oh my god. That was close. I'm not gonna lie, Kuro, uh, he needed to challenge that ball, like, way faster. I have no boost, bro. That's gonna be a goal. I, I wish I could replay that, but... He was in front of me for like 30 seconds before challenging the ball, and if he had just went there, it would have been so much easier for us. Now, granted, we shouldn't have gotten it tied in the first place because I should have been looking out for the Spanish kickoff, but... Uh, how does he still have boost? Oh my god. Alright, I'll get back here. He needs to go. Oh, that's still in. Well, oh well. Uh, guy's definitely a smurf, but it is what it is. I mean, I had a smurf on my team in the first game, so it's, uh, I guess I can't really complain too much. I just go. Yeah, it's the game. Oh, well, GG's. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.